Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Blue Tango Unplugged where I go through the pile of games inside of Steam that I haven't been able to get a chance to play and just try them out. Uh, it's usually a quick look and today I'll make it real quick because I don't have a ton of time but uh, because it's a free weekend on Steam, uh, all of the X games, the space, well, there's no other way to say it than X, but like the X games like X1, 2, 3, Rebirth, all those games are all free this weekend and they're on sale. So I wanted to check them out because I love space games, if you can't tell from other games I've done so far. So I'm going to start with X Rebirth 3. Um, just looking at the Steam reviews, uh, compared to the other games, it's not rated so well, so I'm not sure how good it is now. Maybe they've patched a few things, who knows. But I do want to try it because I do want to give like the latest in their series a, tr a try and I may be able to get to one of the other games as well this weekend, but we'll start with just X Rebirth 3 for the moment. So let's jump over to that and let's get started. I have absolutely no idea how to play any of these games. Obviously I've never played any of the X games before, even though they've always looked very pretty and been something I wanted to play. So I'm going to jump right into it, just new game. Let's see what happens. Ah uh, yeah, campaign sounds good, easy sounds good. because I'm a wuss when it comes to games, so... Probably gonna go for about 10 minutes, so this will be a really quick episode. Might just end with the tutorial by the time I get through it. But hopefully it'll be enough to give you kind of a taste of what it is. As long as there's not a bunch of story stuff to start with. Encyclopedia. Historical ships. Pride of Albion. This prototype, built by John Fergo in 2932, was a technical world, masterpiece like based on blueprints by engineer Bala G. Its great flexibility in engine performance, as well as weapon, shield, and hull technology, would have made it the first choice for any military organization. The model, however, never got into mass production due to excessive costs involved in building the main structure. Oh, does that mean I'm the only one hmm. who has it? Please, 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 give it to me. Let me give it to me. Skunk? Okay. The only prototype was bought by the Argon government well, and okay. played an Going important role in the Terran conflict as well as the Plutarch Revolution in well, Albion, it where it was registered I under the Taladi Faalos de Sanos Hunas. The ship was last seen <laughs> awesome. heavily damaged in a massive battle against the Plutarch Mining Corporation yeah, and was registered as lost in action. <laughs> Not quite destroyed yet. I think I have an update for this encyclopedia entry. Encyclopedia. History. Out okay, let's jump right into it. <laughs> I could probably watch the cutscene forever, but uh, let's see what I can do here. Hey, is someone there? I need help. Yes, I hear you. I've got system failures. I need to dock. Sidoki? Okay. Uh, I think there's a docking port here, but I'm not sure if it's working. You'd better be sure. I'm coming in hot. That was quick. <laughs> hey, she wasn't are kidding. you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks. How'd you end up in that pod? I was attacked in the highway. It happened so fast. They could still be nearby. That doesn't Check. seem like a very efficient ship space out there. Here. We can head Just for the nearest it station, there. but it'll take a while. This ship's not in the I best shape. That. If they come after me, then we're in trouble. Yeah. Let me take a look. I'd imagine that you'd have trouble in space with something like that. Ah, okay. Do it. Go for here, try it off. If this is some elaborate plot to steal my ship, you should have waited until I finished repairs. You're not kidding. This thing's a mess. <laughs> you an engineer? Everyone's Technician. so cheery. I work for the Heart of Albion, performing safety checks for Just working areas, the voice ships, in production the lines, that kind of thing. Yisha Terran. Reno Tani. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the Pride of Albion. You know your ship. I found it dumped not too far from here. I've been trying to restore it, and some joker thought it'd be funny to recode its ID to Albion Skunk. I should probably let my people know I'm alright. Can't help you there. 
I was out here looking for a replacement high gain transmitter. It's probably best if we head to oh, some station. Get we'll get going after Let's I warm go. up the engines a bit. Okay, space. There we go. This is your speed bar. What's my speed bar? X to oh X to accelerate. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Look at space. It's awesome. Sorry about that. She does that sometimes. It's only some PMC ships exiting the highway. Almost ready. Did you know that your boost engines are disabled? Yeah, they've never worked. Something to do with. Hold on. Guess they're fixed now. Never get tired of seeing space. Not what sure the hell what it was is. that for? Those were Plutarch security ships. You don't just pull off a burn like that in their faces. Relax, they won't catch up for a while. Look, I've got a friend on a station near here. Get me there and we'll get most of your systems back online. Check this out. Try that. Maneuvering thrusters should be more responsive now. Okay. Where am I going? Yes! Now we're... Now we're cruising. How did you do that? Half of your sister's... I see my shield off there dropping. Did she get into a here. fight? She's been like this since I found her. How about we get to that station? How about we do? I just shot right past it in all my excitement. Doctor Who tunnel. I don't suppose I can speed up my time in the highway right now. Probably should have crashed into other ships. I'm not making too happy. Oops. Badlands colony up ahead. It's not exactly a model of comfort, but it's welcoming enough. Cool. Guess it's gonna take me a while to get there if I'm moving this slow. Only 50 kilometers away. Although it's space terms, 50 kilometers is probably not that far. It's actually something a car could do. And out of shield. Ah, I sent something pretty coming up. I guess I should have taken a highway right to there. I don't know, maybe I knocked myself out of the highway. Maybe that was the problem. Oops. If something's gonna attack me, I should probably keep my shields on. What is that? Status of my ship, that's fine. Oh, there's more enemies, sweet. They are a bit far away, so I think I'm okay. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Mission information added to ship computer database. Module information retrieved. Double click the marked icon and select dock, okay? Autopilot disengaged. Where is the dock? Dock location added to ship computer database. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down here. This is the Albion Skunk, requesting permission to dock. Hit it. Docking permission granted. I'm already like this. Encyclopedia. I haven't shot at anything or had anything Map. shoot at me yet, so Bad it's hard to judge. Mining colony. The Badlands Mining Colony is one of the oldest mining facilities in Albion. So, you want me to patch up this old junker for free? It's nothing too major, and I think I've earned a few favors. You've got one. One favor. You're more trouble than you're worth. Okay, guy. I'll get your ship into a decent state. Decent, that includes yes. the weapons, so you'd best keep quiet about where you got them from. There are some components around yeah, here I could use. Look around for them while I get set up. I'll leave you boys to it. Yes, I guess there's a little bit of an adventure game exploration going on here. Okay, let's find some engine components. At least they're gonna tell me where they are, that's cool. Okay, that's one. I don't think I need to hack the station if they're helping me. Thanks. If I were doing this, we'd better do it right. You should get on board and prepare to give a test run. That Yisha girl, she's nice and all, but don't expect things to be simple with her around. She told me she was with the Heart of Albion. Sounds pretty respectable. Sure, but the Heart of Albion aren't the PMC's best friends, are they? I say spend the time in her world. Heart of Albion will either get you into charity work or cyber terrorism. Never a dull day. Thanks for the help. Okay. Let's get on board. Uh, I assume to return to the ship that I just climb on deck. It's very pretty so far, gotta say that. They got space right. The people look a little bit. Systems little are funny, looking good. That's cool. Weapons are working. <laughs> let's give the targeting system a run through. Yes, let's. Check that the weapons work. Okay, sounds like a plan. It'll be faster to use the mining laser. Mining laser. And the switch weapon. Okay. There's my mining laser. Boom! <laughs> it's a shame you don't have a cap ship with collector drones. The minerals in these rocks are used in many industries. Yeah, that is a pretty powerful gun. What am I doing now? So, did you manage to contact anyone? Yeah, they know I'm okay. I'd hate to be a bother, but could you take me to them? It's not far from here. Uh, everyone in video games always so needy. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Given how well the skunk <laughs> is performing, it's the least I can do. Thanks. I'll mark the location in your guidance system. We'll be meeting with the Heart of Albion ship to pick me up. Okay. So, what do you do for a living? Nothing stable. The odd job here and there. More to keep me busy than make money. A freelancer, then. Not a bad job if you can find enough work. My father worked for Plutarch Mining Corporation for many years. Seeing how stressed he became, I don't think corporate life is for me. Oh, He's gone either. now. 
but you left me enough that I can choose what I want to do. If you want to nice spend your time restoring old ships, you found a good one here. My little Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Okay, so you can judge when to get out of the highway. There's a highway crossing in the next zone. Get ready to leave this highway in a moment. We should fly over to the other highway now. Space. Well, I'll let it say the leaving highway now. Well, I guess they're gonna kick me out anyway. Even temper. All right. And it's 25 kilometers away. Can I get back on the highway? Seems a little far for my tastes. I don't want to just fly there manually. Okay. Entering even temper. Station information added to ship computer database. Object information added to ship computer database. Okay, it's just a different highway. Got it. Kind of. Entering even temper. Aren't we supposed to be gone? A little tough to stay on the highways here. Like it keeps Entering even temper. out of that one. How do I get onto the highway that I need to get on? Yeah. Entering even temper. Kind of hard to stay on that highway. Yeah, maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. Entering even temper. Autopilot yeah, let's try engaged. autopilot and see what it does. Okay, the autopilot's doing a much better job of this than I was. So, that's good. Good on the autopilot. Although, of course, with an autopilot, it's like, what am I doing in here? Just realized as well when I had that, that interruption that I think I uh, was accidentally streaming. But hopefully, no one saw this on me streaming this on the game dev channel, which I do every week. By the way, if you're interested in that, I should probably mention that while we're kind of just chilling here, flying somewhere. Uh, the game dev show is something I do just every week. Uh, Saturdays from 8 to 10 in Japan, which usually translates 4 to 6 Pacific, 5 to 7 Mountain, 6 to 8 Central, 7 to 9 Eastern, and then 11 p.m. Friday nights to 1 a.m. Saturday morning if you're in the UK. If you're in Australia, it usually starts from somewhere between 7 and 11, depending on where you live in Australia. And if you're in New Zealand, it starts at 12. Uh, if you're in Australia or New Zealand, it's Saturday with me because you're in the same time zone. But just working on a game called Project Spaghetti and Map where the bullets fired bounce around the screen and ball mechanic. I have a good crew there, that good, good people that are always showing up and kind of helping me out as I play, you know, make the game. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely not as fancy as this. It's more 2D, kind of a retro game. It kind of harkens back to my love of the Commodore 64. Well, that was my spiel for that. Um, usually at the end of the YouTube videos, there's there's a link to it as well, if you're interested. I'm not sure if something's shooting me or if I'm bumping something. There's just this thing that happens every couple of seconds. It's like my ship gets bumped. 
game looks very pretty. I do like it. But whether it's a good game or not, it's, it's going to be impossible to tell until I'm actually in combat, because I assume that's the bread and butter of it, not just flying around and chatting with people. Although I'm sure that's part of it too. And here we go with the exit. There's a lot of ships there. Okay. Entering auspicious excavation. Am I still an autopilot? No, I don't think so. Where am I supposed to be going now? I can't quite tell if that's my target or what. Check around real quick. Um, it doesn't I don't see an objective marker except on that thing, so I guess that's where we should be going. That's Borman's ship over there. They'll be expecting us. Okay. This is Falk Borman to the Albion Skunk. I take it you have Yisha Taran on board? This is Ren Otani. Yes, she's here. Should we come into dock? I'm sorry, Yisha, but we <laughs> can't risk it at the moment. Captain Yisha. Otani, I'm transferring some credits to your account as we speak. I hate to be so abrupt, but time is short, and bringing Yisha on board could potentially put her and others in danger. I'm sorry, but so I have to say that. I'm confused. You want her to stay here? I'm sure Yisha can elaborate. She is currently better off with you than with us. Consider this a passenger transport job, Captain Otani. A well-paid one at that. We'll be in contact when this all blows over. Lovely. What? I didn't know he was going to do that. So now what? You're the captain. What would you normally do? Oh, I have a freighter parked up not too far away. How about we head there and you explain what this is all about? For that. So, I assume this has something to do with the constant trouble Heart of Albion is getting into with Plutarch. Oh, we do what we can. Plutarch has operations you wouldn't believe existed. What I do is find the evidence and get it to Borman. Starting to think Borman didn't pay me enough. Maybe the less you know, the better. We're not some crackpot group. Many in Heart of Albion are old Argon military veterans. They're pretty much the last of the Argon Federation in Albion. And then Plutarch came to power after the gates shut down. You should be happy Plutarch even tolerates your group. I'd like to see them try and shut us down. Guess I'm supposed to get on the highway again. Well, let's see if I can... It'd be nice if I can get that autopilot kicking again. For speed free, nice. You can't see it with my head, but there was a steam achievement there. Highway now. Alright, how do I get off the highway? Entering distant fume. Yeah, I think I want to save my game. That sounds like a good idea. I am way too far away. The other way. Entering distant All right, well, I guess I'll just have to fly. This might take a while. I guess the highway is only going one direction. I guess it's safer that way too. Don't go crashing into ships head first. Would have liked to have like shot something out of the sky, but it seems to take a while to get to that point, so I may not even be able to get something shot down by the time I have to go. Unless there is an enemy that's going to try and attack me when I get to here.
seems to take a while to go through this little Doctor Who tunnel. I guess I'm still going. Alright. There's something cool and orange there. Not sure what that is. going into a hypnotic like trance here. Is there an end to this? What is going on here? There's gotta be a map or something, right? <laughs> What's this red button? Okay, there's if I, please tell me this this is the end of where I need to go. Looks like the Sovereign Syndicate is causing trouble. We'd best keep our distance. Take a look at the map to check where they're heading. I don't want to keep my distance. Well, alright. They want me to keep my distance, so... Shift E. Well, there are no enemies. Well, I think that'll wrap it up. Um, obviously, at some point, I'm going to uh, have to shoot things. But uh, I guess I'm too weak to do it now, so... I will play more of this because it is... It's just awesome being in space, and space is nice and crowded, and it looks cool. So I will keep playing this, but I think I need to save it. Okay, got my save. Shut up, Betty. And I'm going to exit to the desktop. Yes. Thank you for watching uh, me fly through space with X Rebirth. So far, it's actually kind of cool. I'll keep with it. I'll try it out some more this weekend. See whether it's not whether or not it's something I want to pick up. It is on sale right now, and it was free for this weekend, so I had to I had to try it at space. So uh, I'll also try to check out Extension, the one before this game, and see how that is because that one got better reviews. So 
be, be kind of interesting to compare them even though they came out so far apart. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been an episode of Blue Tango Unplugged with X Rebirth. Hope you check out some of our other Unplugged episodes and our game dev show. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.